South Africa's last all-white session of Parliament opened with the by now traditional Westminster-style pomp and ceremony. The start of a session that will radically alter the face of politics in the country. Under the Prime Minister's constitutional proposals, coloureds and Indians will, for the first time, be admitted to Parliament in a move the Prime Minister and his nationalist government see as a major step towards peaceful change in South Africa. Early this month, the Labour Party, which claims to represent South Africa's four million coloureds, voted to join the whites in Parliament, even though the new constitution fails to provide any representation whatsoever for blacks. In voting to enter Parliament, the Labour Party totally ignored its alliance with black groups and its leaders were denounced as sellouts by opponents of apartheid. We're not responsible for apartheid in South Africa. We are finding a way out of this mess in which we find ourselves. And therefore, we resent the attack on us as if we're the cause of the system. The Prime Minister, Mr. Botha, may well look delighted. The decision by the Labour Party to participate in his government's constitutional plans and the subsequent qualified backing for the initiative by Britain and the United States has given his image a major boost. He's now in the strongest position since coming to power four years ago and will almost certainly find himself appointed Executive State President, further entrenching the powers of the Afrikaners in Parliament. There's no more outspoken critic of the new constitution than Dr. Alan Bussack. Uh, the Labour Party must not forget that what they are doing essentially is joining the government in perpetuating apartheid. And this is a system that cannot survive without all kinds of violence, not only the violence of its laws, but actually also the military violence, which is the guarantee of the system.